Okay, let's look at example 2.2. Uh, in example 2.2, we have uh, a barge being pulled by two boats. If the resultant of the forces exerted by the boats is 5,000 pounds force directed along the axis of the barge. Okay, so what does that mean? We have the force here is just in this direction, and it's 5,000 uh, pounds. Okay, so the tension of the ropes uh, for alpha is equal to 45. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's look at this. Let's start with B. So here's uh, point B. You have this force coming off here at some angle. Actually, you know this angle, right? This is 30 degrees, and you don't know what the magnitude is of this, right? But then we have another force coming off down here, and this is at 45 degrees, and again, we don't know if we know the direction, but not the not the um, magnitude, and we know combined they're going to make one force here of 5,000 pounds, right? So we can do parallelogram, head to tail, this or this one goes up to there. Okay, so we know if this is 45, then this. So if this is 30 degrees here then this must be uh, 180 minus 30, so, um, well, struggling with the math here. Okay, so you know this has got to be 45 here, right? And so what do we want to know? We know this is 5,000, this value right here is 5,000, and so we want to know what this one, we'll call this uh, A, B, and this one, B, C. We want to know what they are. Well, do we know what this angle is? Yeah, we can figure out that angle. It's 180 minus, one thir minus 30 minus 45. And so that's going to give us an angle of 105 degrees. And let's look at the law of sines. Sine of 105 over 5,000, right, is equal to sine of 30 over the opposite of 30, which is BC. So you can figure out, therefore, BC is equal to, uh, they call that tension two. It's equal to some number. And then you can do the same thing again, sine of 105 over 5,000 is equal to sine of 45 over AB. So therefore, AB, is equal to 3660, 3660, whereas BC is equal to 2590. So there you go. You have the two forces for that. That's part A. Part B is the value of A alpha for which the tension in the rope is a minimum. Okay, so let's look at this. You have a force here. You know that this force is going to be in this direction, okay? And this is going to be uh, 5,000, okay? So we want to minimize, uh, what the heck is that? Okay, now part B, we want to find the value of this angle. What angle should we put this at so that we minimize the tension in this rope right here. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we know that you have 5,000 pounds coming off in this direction. You know, whoops, come back, that you have some rope coming off here at this angle, uh, 30 degrees, right? We don't know how far this is. And then we know something else, we got to do something to get to this point. So the question is, where do we do it? If we did it like this, or like this, or or what's going to make this vector right here the shortest? Well, what's going to make that the shortest is if you take the perpendicular distance from this line to this point right here. So what is that? That means that this has got to be right here, this angle, and this is 90 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees, therefore this is, what, 60 degrees here. And so the 
value and it, everyone sees why that is the minimum because if it's coming from here it's got longer to travel you, you, you take it to the extreme you you know go way out here and clearly this the magnitude of this line has to be a lot longer or if you go from here it's going to have to be a lot longer the you want to minimize the vector so it's going to be this one right here it's going to that's going to be the minimum value and so that angle is that so what is the angle therefore that it's going to be for alpha is equal to 60 degrees that's going to be the answer for part B.